Stay classy. Stay classy. What, people who put A1 on steak didn't want any of that? Dear Jim, full of gin, take it easy on Carmelo. It's hard as hell to keep your dome in Dallas. Regards, JFK. Ryan in Wichita. You're kidding, right? Man had his his head blown off. A presidential assassination. Presidential assassination smack. Murdered alongside his family and with the entire nation watching. Presidential assassination smack. Really? Ryan in Wichita? Bon voyage, Ryan in Wichita. Nice knowing you. Don't get another phone. Don't ever text me ever again. Even with a new phone, I'm not going to allow it. Bon voyage. Nice knowing you, Ryan. Now you're done. Now I'm done. Presidential assassination smack. Hey, the president got his head blown off. That's something to make light of. It got him blocked. It got him blocked from the texts, but not from the calls. And so he's trying to come back and reinvent himself and try something different. The guy who sent me the text, take it easy on Carmelo. It's hard as hell to keep your dome in Dallas. Regards, JFK. Now is coming to the phones. Ryan in Wichita. Ryan, let's see what you got. What's up? Hey, Jim. Um, Sorry about that text, dude. That was a sure you little were. out of line. So, my dad. And also, I'd like to apologize to your um, call screener, Rocky Dennis. Um, I told him that I was going to call in to put someone on blast, but I'm not doing that. I think uh, being a big time Hollywood movie star is making Jay Stu soft. That's uh, it's crazy about those Belgian weightlifters um, being hopped up on roids. I figured all those guys would um, be hopped up on waffles and syrup before they uh, pounded the weights. So um, the other day, Jim, I was watching the KU uh, spring football game, and um, I saw their coach on the sideline. I've texted his name in probably a million times, but I forgot his name. What's his name, Jim? I don't know who you're talking about. Uh, Mark Mangino. Oh, right. Uh, I'm going to Burger King. I'm going to eat some chicken. There you go. Now you've done it twice. Hey, like I said, I know this guy wasn't looking to genuinely apologize or seek any redemption. He started off with the Rocky Dennis blast on Jay Stu and then parlayed that into a, I'm going to Burger King, knowing full well that if you're going to reference Mark Mangino and reference his weight, that's going to get you run. That was perfect. Did I? Not that I had to be clairvoyant to see that coming. But did I not call that? You know, the guy was like, all right, I've already gone to the JFK blast. Check. Should I go to Mangino or Sarah Jessica Parker? Or I know, I know I've been run from the text contest. I've been run as a caller and you are blocked. You can't call anymore now either, bro. You can now email Travis Rogers and I'm even going to pick your subject for you. Edward James Olmos. And at that point, I probably gave the guy the idea, or maybe he was going to come to the idea by himself, but that got him run. So now he's blocked from the phones, and he's blocked from the text. And I said, you've only got one more place to go, Ryan, in Wichita, and that's the email. Choke there, and then you're done as a participant. Then you can only listen. And sure enough, this email finally found its way back to me. Hey, Romy, this Mike Vick thing is going to turn into a mess. Signed, Edward James Olmos. War Mark Mangino and presidential assassination smack. Ryan in Wichita. And now it's official, Ryan. You are done as an emailer also. Fuck! Fuck! You can't text. You can't call. You can't email. All you can do now is listen. You're done. If you can dredge up our fax number from back in the day, you can try and hit me up that way. But you are now done as a participant, which was your goal all along. So you really don't care. Three for three, nice knowing you. Just listen and enjoy. Just don't call. 
Don't text and don't email.